Um, do most body corporate committees restrict tenant parking in visitor parking areas? Yes, they all do. Um, this is a requirement from local council. If you have visitor parking, it is a 99.9% .9 chance required by the local council. And if the body corporate is found to be allowing um, any residents, including owners, not just tenants, um, to park in visitor parking areas, um, the body corporate will often come and fine, sorry, the council will often come and fine the body corporate for breach of its development approval. So bodies corporate cannot allow residents, um, tenants or owners to park in visited car parking areas because the whole idea of them is keep um, keep vehicles off the street and allow for, um, you know, yeah, visitors vehicles to get into the site and not congest the roads and, and have traffic problems when cars are not at their home address. Um, and usually a body corporate only has the minimum number because if a developer was told to put in, you know, 10 visitor parking areas and they had more space available, they'd usually sell that to residents as some other type of lot or additional parking. So usually you've got the minimum of visitor parking areas already and you can't turn those into anything else other than visitor parking areas.